Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Paper Mario the Origami King. Today we are heading all the way back up the Overlook Mountain because last episode we defeated the Colored Pencils boss and got rid of the Red Streamer, so we're actually good to move on over to the Red Mountain in the background to take on the Blue Streamer. So we'll see what that's all about in today's episode. Hopefully it goes well. I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, we got this guy over here. Hey, Mr. Toad. I guess, yeah, we're good to sort of board the train. Are you catching this ride? Yeah, sure, why not? Hey, what's the hold up? Everything okay out there? Everything is fine, sir. Just getting these final passengers ready. Off you go to Autumn Mountain. Enjoy. Okay, who's on here with us? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, we're heading to a brand new area. Wow, this is amazing. We're up so high. The view is so vast. These mountains are so huge. Are you seeing this, Mario? Mountains here, mountains there. It's mountains all the way up. Why didn't anyone tell me that the world could be so wonderful? Is this your first time out of the house or something? Oh, were you asleep? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. I'm just very excited. So I guess it's a bob -omb. <laughs> Hello. Uh, my friend Mario and I are on a quest to follow a big blue streamer. What's your story? What brings you aboard this tram, tram today? Me? Well, I'm bob -omb. And that's about all I remember. Know that memory loss thing? What's it called? Ambrosia? Amnesty? Think you think you panic? Whatever you call it, I've got it, big time. So I'm on a solo journey to try and remember, well, anything. My home, my purpose, all that. Poor guy. You have amnesia? You don't have any memories? Oh, you poor thing. I have a great idea. You should join us on our quest. We can help you recover your lost memories and make a ton of new ones along the way. What do you say, Mario? Wouldn't it be great if this guy joined us? Wow, really? Gee, I couldn't put you two out like that. I mean, it's kind of a, a kind offer, but I don't even have any special moves. I'd just be in the way. I mean, I could probably be talked into it if you really wanted, but okay, never mind. <laughs> you raised some great points. It's probably better for you to travel alone. Sorry to bother you. Have a good journey. <laughs> Maybe we should convince him now. Wow. What is he doing? He's inching over, so beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> He's getting closer. H hey, is that offer still on the table, you know, to uh, to join you two? Because I might be considering it. Joining you, that is, on your quest. You with the cool stash and the, and the, and the big M. Your name was Mario, right? That sounds so familiar. I feel like you're some kind of pro at this adventure stuff. So, uh, can I join you, that is, please? Of course you can. Hooray! Oh, check it out. The top of that mountain is bright red. That has that has to be Autumn Mountain. Wow, you're right. The mountain practically screams Autumn. That has to be it. That means we'll be stopping soon. I can't wait to stretch my legs, assuming I have them somewhere. Now that we're traveling buddies, let me introduce myself for real. I'm bob -omb. I promise not to slow you down, Big M, and you too, ma'am. My name is Olivia, nice to meet you. All right, interesting. So I guess bob -omb is joining us as a little friend. Is he gonna help us in battles at any point? I don't know. Weird. Whoa, Autumn Mountain. It looks so cool. Very pretty. And there's already a bunch of toads I see that need saving. Oh boy. Woohoo, we're here, Autumn Mountain. It's very pretty. The leaves are such a bright shade of red. It's so beautiful. This looks like the perfect place to make new memories. Right, Bombert? Uh, the name is bob ma'am. Anyway, we should probably start following that blue streamer. I agree, so obviously there's a toad right here to save, so let's just go ahead and save that. <laughs> awesome. Welcome to Autumn Mountain, up in Autumn. Oh, Mario, thanks for the save. Come see me if you want to ride the tram, okay? Will do, so it's good to save him, but obviously we wanna look around a little bit. There's another toad right here that's as like a little koi fish or something. Oh, wow, he has a fancy hat. Phew, Flop's for flopping me out. Flop, I mean, huh? It's Mario, thanks a flop, or a lot. <laughs> I've been stuck up on this mountain for days, longing for the open sea. See, I'm actually Sea Captain Toad. I'll be tending to my ship by the port in Toad Town. Stop by and give me an ahoy on your next visit. 
Interesting. Ooh, a sea captain. I just love the idea of cruising around the open ocean. It sounds so elegant. Next time we're passing through the Toad Town, we should definitely stop by the port to see his boat. Will do. Oh, and here we go. Can also start covering up some of the holes. Don't wanna forget to do that. Awesome, so here we have this whole new area to explore. It should be a lot of fun. I'll be as diligent as I can, as per usual, just trying to find everything. Um, There's some extra stuff for us. Got some coins and everything. Yeah, we, we have a lot more coins to earn back because you know, we've been spending them on items and uh, accessories and stuff, so. Oh, there is a toad around somewhere, apparently. The bell went off, but I do not see any. Definitely none in that tree. Maybe back this way? Maybe. Uh, you know, let's try all those. We got a bunch of coins back here. Oh, that leaf was a toad. Hey, thanks. You're welcome. So if I see any more peculiar leaves, I'll definitely have to give them a smack because, oh wait, you're just like that. Gotcha. You saved me. You're welcome. Uh, but there's still another one around here? Hmm. It could be back that way. As you can see, um, there is more over there. Because it seems like with this accessory, things are a pretty general region of like things. So I just want to see. Uh, where do you think the blue streamer will lead us next? I guess we'll find out. But if I use something like this, right? I mean, it says that there's something nearby, but... I don't know, I think it's more that way. It's always so hard for me to tell. There we go, okay, that's put away. I'm not really super keen on that, though. I, I've tried it now a couple of times. It just doesn't seem to work very well for me. I think there might be some up there, though. I think, yeah, the, the range of the accessories is a little bit sort of vague, so... Wherever it is exactly, I guess we'll find out over time. But for right now. Anything over this way? This is a little bit of a weird area. It looks like I could get up here, but I don't, I don't think so. Whoa. Hey, this must be the streamer you two were talking about. Looks like the source of it is, the source is off to the left somewhere. I'll scout up ahead. All right, be careful. Careful, Bombas, don't fall. <laughs> Please don't call me Bombas. My name is bob <laughs> All right, well, uh, don't worry. I definitely heard him this time. I'll be sure to get Bobby's name right from now on. <laughs> it's bob <-omb. laughs> We'll get it eventually. Are you sure it's okay to let, let Bobby wander off on his own like that? I guess not, so we have to follow him for right now. That's fine. Hmm. So once again, none of these leaves are toads, it doesn't seem like. They're just normal leaves. Oh, here he is. Hey, Big M, check this out. What the, a dead end? How are we supposed to follow the, the streamer now? Curse you, you lousy dead end. These boulders are way too big to jump over, even for a guy like you, Big M. We can't go that way. I guess we could see what's up the mountain? I guess so. Yeah, not supposed to go down this way. Weird that they just like took so much time to point out that this is a dead end. Maybe at some point, oh maybe, I don't know, it looks like it's an old river and there's these boats over here, so maybe at some point there was water running down that, but now there isn't. So if we can restore the water, we could probably go down that dead end a lot easier. Oh, who's this? Another potential traveling buddy? Hey, Pointy, you wanna make some fun memories with us? Oh no. Bobby, stop! Be careful, those folded soldiers are dangerous. This little guy, really? I guess those spikes do make him look tough. All right, I'll try to steer clear of these foldy guys. All right, well, we'll get them. Oh, and I messed it up. They made the first attack, so that's a bit of a problem. We'll figure it out. Oh, I did not block it either, darn. Okay, there's a bunch of them. How do I wanna do this? Line them up, I'm trying. Uh, so we get two moves here. I wanna do something like this, I suppose. And then I guess, ooh. I don't know how I feel about that. Because obviously that makes sense. Oh, I see. Well, once again, darn. Hmm. What if I... No, that wouldn't work. See, why is that so tough? Okay, well, this isn't perfect, but at least it's something. I don't know, sometimes I feel like it's impossible to get it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but for right now, might as well go against these guys. We'll use a shiny hammer. Oh boy, here we go. 
And I got the excellent hit, so hopefully that gets rid of all of them in the first hit. Yes, it does. We'll also switch over to the shiny boots and start jumping on these Goombas. And I don't think it's gonna get rid of them. But it will get rid of their uh, wings. That's at least a little bit better. Oh, and look at bob -omb. He's helping. Awesome. So he does help out a little bit. I love it. Oh, we do uh, we, we do enough defense there that we don't take any damage. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, now I'll finish him off. Attack power up. I would love to. So just a normal jump should be enough, I think. We'll find out. Uh, maybe not for that last Goomba, unless bob -omb attacks. Oh, go get him. There we go. So that's pretty useful to, to know that it works out that way. Anyways, there's that done. Get a bunch of extra coins and everything, and let's keep it moving. Oh my, oh, lots more of them. I tried to attack again. I pressed the hammer button, nothing really happened there. Weird. That is a lot of spinies. We got all the uh, extra stuff coming in here. So I'm guessing what I could do is that and then, ah, oh, that almost works, darn. It's so tough. I'm just trying to find out like what's the best answer here. I mean, I once again, this is the same exact situation as before, isn't it? Um, well, actually, no. Yeah, darn it, that's not what I wanted. Um, quickly. That's the best I can do. That really does stink, doesn't it? Okay. Um, but we do get two moves here, so we're gonna use the shiny hammer on this group first, and then on the other group over there, and then I guess bob -omb can take out the other guy. That's at least something. All right. And then over this way, same deal. Yeah, like I've said before, it's interesting how this is basically a puzzle game. Oh no, more than it is an RPG. That is not good. I can't believe I messed that up. <laughs> there we go, at least one of them's down. The other three will attack us, but. Because I, I think if I timed that right, we probably could have gotten rid of the uh, the one guy. All right, finish him off. This time, just use a normal hammer. No, no, wait, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Oh, whoops, why would it even set it up that way? Usually it sets it up the way it's supposed to be. Weird. Why did you fall? No, why did you fall? Oh, bad timing. Okay, battles have not been going so well today. All right, here we go. Hit him with a hammer again, don't wanna do anything more if I don't have to. And that was enough to take him down. Jeez, that was tough. All right, well 120 coins, it isn't much, but you know, we get something done. And, ow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I gotta, I gotta do better, because this is not turning out so well, but it's a wave battle, they're coming in. Luckily, we have plenty of health, plenty of room for mistakes, I suppose. Oh, he has something going on there. What's that about? Hey, give that magic circle back. You can't even use it. If they won't give it back, you'll just have to take it back, Mario. Hmm. So they're not gonna jump around or anything. Um, interesting. So I guess the best move would be to do this. There we go. That's much better. Wish that would happen more often. Let's use the shiny boots on the Goombas. There we go, and they're all gone, they're done. And then for these guys, I might just be able to use a normal hammer to get rid of them, I sure hope so. Oh yeah, 16 damage is enough. And there we go, the last wave is coming in. Whoa, we got Sakupas as well. Here's our turn. So let's use the volumental power here. Magic circle on. So what's going on with this? Olivia's gonna turn into the earth elemental again. Weird, and Mario's just riding on top of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is cool. So now what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, the big slam, 50 damage to everybody. That's awesome. Battle bonus, so we did that one perfect, so we get 581 coins. I'm happy about that one, for sure. Hopefully that happens a little more often. And what's going on down this way? See a lot of, oh no, poor little cheap sheeps. Oh, hi there little fishies. These mountain fish must spend their whole lives slopping around on the surface, how interesting. Uh, I know I lost my memory, but that doesn't sound right. Don't most fish kinda need water? Yes, they do. Um, oh no, oh no, gotcha. <laughs> Not happening, sir, I'm sorry. Boom, <laughs> not much, but something. 
Oh, there's a whole group of them here. Hmm. Yeah, this one's a bit messy. Oh, I could flee as well. Interesting, I didn't realize. All right, well, that's at least something. I know it's not a lot, but then I could. Yeah, no matter what, it seems like we're in trouble here, so we're just gonna try this out. And we have three actions, all three of which I think I'm going to use the shiny hammer. All right. That was only a great, darn. Okay, enough to get rid of all of them, though. Excellent. And the shiny hammer is a little damaged, so I do have to be careful about that, but I think we can make this work. Still just great. It's, it's great enough, though. Let's try this again. That guy in the back is pretty mad. Still just a great. I thought that was gonna be an excellent. And then, please get him. Thank you very much. So Bob Owens are really helpful when he does attack, so I do appreciate that. I wonder if we'll have him for the rest of the game, or maybe just for like this section of the game. Who knows? It's interesting so far, for sure. Anyways, I do want to make sure that for our weapons, apparently, yeah, we have multiple shiny hammers. Might as well get another one equipped right there. All right, um, that seems pretty good to me, because this one's damaged, just that way I have more of a chance. Uh, well, oh, come on, he was playing, he was playing possum. <laughs> I thought he was knocked out there, but I guess not. So how are they gonna jump around? Because actually I see pretty good opportunity here by doing this, maybe? Wait, that was my only move. Oh no. Um, so that wasn't good at all. Uh, darn. Well, I have three actions, so we could still technically make this work. I just don't know if it's gonna happen. Wish I could go back and change. I thought we had at least two. But nope, we only had one. And I really messed up the timing for that. Uh, can I just like, is there like a redo button? Because I really need that right now. This is the worst. Okay, well at least that'll get rid of those guys. Might as well switch back to the shiny hammer to get rid of these cheap, cheap. That was much better, I finally got the excellent hit. And that's gonna be all three of my moves. But luckily, bob -Um's able to get rid of one of them. Now the enemy can move. They're all teaming up. Oh my. Oh, I blocked it. That's at least good. Okay, just jump on them. That's all I need to do is jump on these guys. Just like that. We got it. Oh boy. Cool. And there we go. So. Could have been better, could have been worse. Okay, so I, I guess, is there any way I can like interact with them? No, <laughs> the poor things. Oh wow, what is that? Oh, so I guess in the same way that we got the earth elemental, maybe there's a water one? Interesting. Whoa, a boat? All the way up here? Oh Bobby, you poor thing. I may not be well traveled, but I do know that boats float. This thing is just sitting here, it can't be a boat. That amnesia must have sapped your memories and your brain power, how cruel. I know what a boat is, ma'am. <laughs> and if there's a boat here, then there's supposed to be a lake. And if that's the case, this lake must be all dried up. Oh, all dried up! <laughs> Got it. Wow, that's astounding. So this is a lake. Wait, isn't that dangerous? We, we could get soaked. We have to get out of here before we get, we get pulped. This lake looks dry, so you're, we're probably fine. But if there was water, we could ride in this boat. And if we could do that, we could float right on over in that dead end and fo follow the blue streamer. So we just have to fill this lake right back up? I don't have a clue how to help with this one. Where should we even start? Well, let's take a look around. One thing, what's with all the cans? Is that a monkey up there? Wait, hold on, first off, are all of these cans empty? It's like a garbage dump down here. Let's see, the labels say A-N-U-T. What is an ut? Oh wait, which region are we in? I was reading it backwards. I guess it's just tuna. Yeah, I guess so. But apparently there's maybe a toad around here somewhere. Weird, I may be under all that. So. I guess we'll get up there and see that monkey. <laughs> what is he up to? Also, if we could ride in this boat, then we could follow the blue streamer. Indeed we could. I do see a toad stuck up here, so maybe we could help him out a little bit. Ready? 
Boom. Wait, there we go. <laughs> I got you, buddy. I came here to see if I could get a job with the river uh, with the river tours, but I ended up getting canned, literally. This tour guide must really love tuna. I'll bet paddling with one aura works up an appetite. I guess so. This tour guide must really like tuna, yeah, okay. So is this the tour guide? Hello. Aw, what a funny little guy. Hey, monkey, what are you doing up there? Oh gosh, and he's gone. Huh, must be shy. So what's going on with all this then? A weird little table, a wall of tuna. This is a lot of canned tuna. Must be an entire year's worth. I can't do anything with it? All right. Where that that's telling me there's a toad around here, but he might be up somewhere, or we should hit the sign. Didn't do anything. Master Oarsman's, or, yeah, Oarsman's Relaxing Downriver Tours, boat landing. Or of course, is no boats landing around here. Oh, cool. So he's running off to check out something. Guys, over here, I think I'm about to make a new memory. So I, I can't go over this way. All right, what's going on? Whoa! Look at that incredible view, right? And check out that building over there, getting total shrine vibes. If I were a big shot water spirit, I'd want to live in a place just like that. Hmm, I agree, Bobby. It does look very watery and shrine-like. Hold on, a water shrine? Or some kind of water spirit? Ah, could that be the water of elemental shrine? Mario, we found it. That has to be the home of the water of elemental lord of all liquids. Hmm, so this water of elemental is some kind of water boss, huh? Why don't we ask it if I can fill the lake back in, or if it can fill the lake back in? I guess so. Secret Soaked Shrine of the Water of Elemental. So I guess we'll have to go and figure that out. I don't know if that's something we'll do in today's episode or not. We'll have to see how it goes actually getting over there. Um, but for right now, ooh. Oh, there it is again. Look at this magic circle. It's got a real Water of Elemental look to it, don't you think? With a magic circle like this, I'm sure we could do something about the dry lake. Let's head to that shrine, Mario. Water of, water of Elemental, here we come. Will do, but. Nothing I can do this way. Let's head to that shrine, Mario. Water of Elemental, here we go. Okay, so there really isn't too much we can accomplish until we find the Water of Elemental and presumably destroy it so that we can take its powers. And how do we get through here? It looks like there might be an opening on this side. And indeed there is, so this might be our first collectible treasure of today's episode. And of this area, collectible treasure number 30, Fallen Leaves. All right. We definitely want to hit all of this stuff. Get some extra confetti while we have the chance. Uh, picturesque prairie, tall grass plains. What happens if we read it from the other side? Anything? Because sometimes it seems to do something, sometimes it doesn't. Wow, this is cool. So this is where, of course, we would use that thing, the toad finder. It would take a while, wouldn't it? Wow, so much tall grass, how pretty. We might not be able to see you in there, Bobby, so stay close and don't get lost, okay? So let's see what we can do around here. I will try to bring this up. Because it seems like there might be something nearby. Like, it's going crazy around here. Aha, we found a toad, there we go. Wow, how did you find me? Could you read my thoughts? Are you reading them now? Please don't. All right, well, we do know of, you know, the one toad there then. And there's apparently another toad around this way somewhere. I do see one down there, though. Aha! Would you look at that? Okay, before we do too much, if we head to the Water of Elemental Shrine, we might be able to meet the Water of Elemental. I just wanna turn this off so we're not wasting battery. And I will pull you out of the ground. Awesome. Finally, a rescue. I was so lonely down here all on my own. Here, let me thank you with this. Ooh. Max heart, up heart plus five. So we actually have 75 HP now. Awesome, I'll take it. So, uh, are you going gonna linger for a while? That's fine. I'm just hoping to get some alone time soon. <laughs> Weren't you just saying you were so lonely? So how do we get, whoa, nice. All right, well, we destroyed that guy. Now we can fill this up a little bit. And fill back up with these flowers a little. There we go, very, very good. And apparently there's another toad immediately nearby. So we probably want to get that thing back out here, the toad radar. I do see these guys. It might be good just to, you know, whack at them while we have the chance. All right. 
There we go, we got him pretty good. Hmm. So this one seems pretty simple. What I think I need to do with two moves is move you there and move this guy up. And there we go, great lineup, attack power up. So let's go with the shiny hammer. Ooh, and got that great swing, 22 damage for it. Not bad. So that could have been worse for sure. Hmm. So it doesn't ring over here anymore. So that means that I guess we've done an okay job. <laughs> I'm just trying to feel out where it might start freaking out a little bit more. Because it can't be too far off. Because if so, the bell wouldn't ring. It's definitely somewhere nearby here. I just, I don't know if I like the, how the Toad Radar works too much. As somebody just, I don't know, I don't think I I always had the proprioceptive skills to feel the vibration correctly. Hmm. It could be around here, but once again, I don't really know what the range of the accessory is for the, the Toads. Either way, we'll go against this Shy Guy. If we don't find it, we can always come back some other time though, so it's not that big of a deal either way. Okay, so similar situation with this one. I'm thinking what we need to do then, and this one is a bit tricky, but I'm guessing. So that's sort of the problem. Hmm, quite the puzzle, isn't it? Because I could do that, that's not really gonna solve too many problems. Why is it so tough? I don't know what to do. All right, right out of time. It just seems like if you solve one issue, it just creates another, which is always a shame. By the way, we'll hit you with the hammer for right now, and then hopefully, uh, that was that could have been a lot better. Uh, I was hoping you'd attack the Goomba, but whatever. Do whatever you want. <laughs> oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Then we only took two damage. It's not like we're, we stand to lose very much. It's just I guess the the worst thing is that we're just not getting very many coins. And that can be a bit of a problem, just because, oh wow. Uh, oh, get him. Ah, oh, you had the fall. Well, there you go. Um, we're not gonna be getting too many coins, and that's sort of a problem, because we need as many coins as we can get. They seem to be a, a big, integral part to the game. Boom, gotcha. All right, battle bonus. Once again, only 130, but if we just keep doing every battle and really participating, I think we'll be fine no matter what. So definitely grab that and see where this leads then. Like maybe the, the extra toad is like this way. Uh, Friendship Plaza, please pick up your empty cans to, to facilitate maximum friendship. Will do. But I don't see any toads down here, so I'm gonna guess that's not the case. Hmm. I'm trying to pay attention to when it, like, you know, makes that noise. Because it's somewhere, aha, right there. See, you can visually pay attention as well. Phew, I had given up hope that I'd ever get out of here. Thanks a ton. There we go, that's a little bit better. Um, so I just wanna go ahead and take that out of use so that we can, once again, save the battery a bit. Because there's a couple ways to go here. For right now, I wanna go down this way and see if there's any cans to get rid of, apparently. Because I don't see any cans around. Weird. Seems like a weird thing to bring up. But hey, we can all sit on this little bench. Mmm, so refreshing. Nothing better than mountain air. I wonder if even the air here is red. It looks clear, but you never know. <laughs> this world is so, so big, Big M. But I understand so little of it. Huh. <sighs> well. Every day you'll learn a little bit more, and then eventually, through a whole bunch of little progression, you'll know a whole lot. Uh, that's sort of how it is for everybody. <laughs> Anyways, we'll keep going this way. If any markers come off from more toads, I'll look for it, which I think it just did. Uh, so, let's one, once again look around a little bit. Okay, somewhere around here. There it is, all right. Oh, thank goodness, someone finally found me. Now I, I, I know how lost keys feel. I guess so. And let's get rid of the shy guy as soon as we can. So I'm getting better at using it. Now that I 
I'm sort of paying attention more to the visual side of it, of where the horn is sort of... Whatever direction the horn is at when it plays the sound is the direction you have to get, which is, I guess, the tricky part. Anyways, I know what to do for this one. Is that I just move this guy over there, and I move these guys forward. So that's pretty simple. Just sometimes I have such a hard time with that. So let's just use a normal hammer. I think that'll be enough. If, we, if I can land the excellent. Yep, there it is. 18 damage, plenty enough to take them all out. And there we go, that's much better, 285 coins. Okay, so once again, is there any toads in the area? Actually, I don't think there is. Awesome, so let's turn the toad radar off. Just like that, and I do wanna see, um, map. We've apparently rescued 40% of the toads so far, that's really not too bad of a deal. And what about here? Wayside Water Velemental Shrine. All offerings are appreciated. Damp offerings preferred. Huh. What a tiny house. How cute. I guess that's where we can put an offering. We don't really have anything to offer at the moment, but maybe at some point. We made it to the other side. Ah, oh, we made it through the tall grass. It kept brushing against the outside of your pocket. So tickly. It was hard not to laugh. And there's the shrine. Look at how close we are to the Water Velemental Shrine. We'll be there before we know it. I guess so. Just a bit farther, right, Bobby? Oh no. Where's Bobby? bob -um. And he's gone. He, uh, he probably got excited and ran ahead of us again. <laughs> it's cute that he wants to show off how fast his little legs can move, assuming he has them somewhere. I don't think that's the case, but we'll look around for him. All right, let's save for right now, and we'll keep moving. I hope bob -Omb's okay. Fall bridge, danger, jumping is strictly prohibited. Oh, is it? Oh, now I'm so tempted to jump, because we can make our way to the other side so easy. Jumping seems fine to me. O okay. We're fine. <laughs> All right, why did it say that then? I don't know. Um, anyways, I we'll want to make sure we're hitting all the trees and everything, even though most of the time I think it's just gonna get us confetti. But you can hear it's, it's going off, so. Aha, there, I see that leaf up there. Yeah, shake this down. There it is. Hey, buddy. Phew, good thing I wasn't folded up on another side of this bridge. If I was stuck in all that tall grass, you might never have found me. You need super sentry powers. I think I found all of them there, so don't worry. How much loose change do you think is sitting under all that tall grass? Might be a do dozen couches worth. And how much loose change is in the couches? Just keeps going and going. All right, so let's fill this out. We're gonna take a lot of confetti, and it makes a a sign. Water Elemental Shrine, Chestnut Valley. All right, nothing of interest over this way. So let's keep going up here. I'm not seeing too much just yet. It's always good to check around as much as possible because I see a toad-shaped door over here, or like opening. Weird. We'll see what that's about, but I need to fill up on confetti to find out, so. Just gotta keep hitting this tree, it'll never stop. <laughs> I'll just keep giving and giving. Oh, and there's a nice bench up here to heal, which is interesting because I just, I haven't taken any damage since we were last healed. But definitely fill this up. And would you look at that? Yeah, it's a radio tower so that we can this is a very tiny door, but um, so that we can refill. Hello. Oh, there we go. We got gotcha. you. Gah, phew! Thank you so much, Mari. I thought I'd be jammed in there forever. This is one of the Sensor Lab satellite offices located right there in on a mountain. We develop advanced sensory techs to, to help adventurers like you. I can't offer you anything myself, but I'm sure the head researcher has something useful. You should pay him a visit. Getting to the main sensor lab is a total breeze. Let me show you some truly cutting edge tech. We developed the fax travel system to help folks zip between our many office locations. It'll let you zap from this satellite office to our main sensor lab in an instant. Give it a try. What do you say, Mario? Want to fax travel to our main sensor lab location? Yes. Might as well. <laughs> I like this. So we're just faxing over. And I guess this will be back here. So we can use this to refill our battery really quickly. Hello, I'm back. My work is incomplete. There are paradigms yet unshifted. So back to it. 
Repairing charge requires 500 coins. Wow, okay. Didn't realize it was so expensive. Now charging! Well, there you go. Charging complete. So, I would have to visit the satellite office in Autumn Mountain? Yes. Luckily, this is free. <laughs> Traveling around doesn't cost anything. Okay, well. We're back. <laughs> I like how he's all rolled up for a second. That was cool. And now I guess we can get back out this way and we can look around a little bit. I don't know if there's any toads around here to save. It doesn't seem like it, but we can sit down and heal. I wonder why leaves turn so red in the fall. Do you think they're embarrassed? No, that can't be it, they're just trees. Now I'm embarrassed for suggesting that. <laughs> Poor Olivia. All right, well there's that done. Wanna refill on confetti at least a little bit more. Oh my, because there's plenty of enemies coming up. Hit them with the hammer. All right, so we got a Goomba here. Boom. Oh, lots of Paragoombas everywhere. So how do we wanna do this one? Good question. Because I would love just to move these guys here. I mean, I guess that works. I did the long way around, but it works. Okay, great lineup. So we're gonna start with uh, jumping on these guys and hopefully we'll do enough damage. Maybe I should use the shiny boots just in case. All right, ready? Awesome. So there is that done. And then to these other pair of Goombas, use our hammer. I think a normal hammer will be good enough. And we got the excellent. Well, that's very excellent. What do you know? All right, there we go. Got the almost 400 coin battle bonus. And I'll drop a little bit more right here. So let's also fill this hole up. I'm trying to do my best with all that. And down this way, do the same thing. Yeah. So what about here? Water Veil Mental Shrine, resting place for the Lord of Liquids and Soaker Supreme. Huh. Interesting. Uh, so let's save for sure. And what's going on over this way? We got plenty of spinies. Ow, and I got hit. Not good. Yeah, and you just can't block from that when you get caught off guard. How many moves do we have for this one? They're about to jump, aren't they? Actually, no, they don't. So this one's pretty simple, actually. We can just, no wait, that one I wanted. There we go, got it. So let's definitely start with jumping on these guys. I will just use normal boots and hope it's enough. I think it might be, but, oh, actually it's not. Now we're in trouble. I should've just gone with the shiny boots. Oh, wow. But for these guys, the normal hammer will definitely be enough. If I didn't time it incorrectly. No, we still got them. So the Goombas are coming in. Luckily, they do no damage. And how many movements do we have this time? Hopefully two. Yep, we have two. Let's move those guys over, and these guys over, and let's get to jumping. All right, just get the boots. Here we go. Awesome. And that gets us 219 coins in total, so we can keep moving forward. Because there's a little bit more to do over this way. I got you this time, I learned from my mistakes. Awesome. So let's try to be a little bit better with this one. I definitely need to equip some new set. That is a lot of, lot of enemies. I think that before we do anything, you know what? Let's give the toads like 500 coins or something. Yeah, let's just get the cheering. Okay, well it was a little bit more than 500, but let's see how the toads do with all this. <laughs> oh boy. Wow, they just move stuff around for me too. Wow, okay, that's really good. Problem is, is it really gonna be all that more helpful? I don't know. And I guess I could, oh yeah, 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 because I could just do this. Interesting. All right. Well, we have three moves here, and I definitely need to at least do like the iron boots. If I, I can do the shiny boots, but I gotta be careful. Ready? That's 20 damage each right there. And shiny boots on these guys as well. 
Gotcha. Oh, your shiny boots broke, there we go. So I'll have to re-equip some new ones. But for this, I can definitely just use a normal hammer and get rid of them. So that was really good, I, I don't know if that was, we'll see how many coins we end up making, because we spent 732 of them, and we only get 195, really? Yikes, not worth that. So that was not worth doing, because I can take damage just fine. I have so much health and we can just go back to the bench. But that was a little bit more of a problem, because I need the coins, like I said, so. Don't do that unless we're in big trouble, I suppose. Anyways, as you can see, we could do that. And there's a toad up here that needs our help, but we can't quite reach him. So I guess we could go back this way, and there's a little way around. So let's go up, and I guess just knock this over. Yep, just like that. And anyway, now it's pretty easy just to do that. You're free! Phew! That rock almost took me out, but there's no way I'd let it beat me. What am I, scissors? <laughs> okay. Uh, hello. Wow, this is a beautiful spot. Amazing what you miss when you're stuck under a sticker. I guess so. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of, of the little paper folded cheap cheeps around here. We should probably go over this way as well. I can also save again. Seeing how I've made a little bit of progress, might be worth it. There we go. Excellent. So what about over here then? Oh, I can just, yeah, go down this way. Whoa. And that should be, as you can see, a collectible treasure number 32, confetti bag. Cool. Uh, there's not really any way I can get down there, I suppose. It looks like there's lava down there. But I guess it's just a bunch of leaves on the water. Weird. I can't quite get up there though, or can I? No, I can. <laughs> I was just being silly. Aha, and there's another toad leaf. Phew, finally, I've been waiting to say this for ages, so listen up. You can turn battery powered items on and off by pressing Y, isn't that incredible? I've gotta tell everyone. Yep, I've been doing that. So how are we doing with toads? We have 59% of them saved, so there's still plenty more to find. But, where does this lead? Way back over here. Whoa, fancy, and that's a toad right there. Come on, I can get you. There we go, cool. Another little dragonfly told me that you've been using the thousand fold arms technique. That's so cool. Are they hard to control though? If you don't like the motion controls, you can turn them off under the uh, menu, in the menu, the gear in the menu. I would actually really like to do that. <laughs> um, there we go. And what about this? Awesome. And I guess we'll go down this way and save this toad. Or, oh yeah, okay, here we go. And now look at this, I can use the thousand fold arms and try this out. Just trying to grab you, there we go, hit. <laughs> awesome, we saved ya. Hey Mario, sorry I kept running away, I panicked. At least I learned that I'm pretty good at climbing walls. I guess so. <laughs> Gah, I thought I had more stamina than this, but hey, at least it, it isn't raining. Ugh. Like Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Interesting comparison. So even if I could catch up. Oh, now I'm on top of the cans. How do you like it? <laughs> not much happening there. So I gotta go all the way around again. Oh, that's not good. So let's see what's going on this way then. Because it looks like a lot, but who knows. And also, will this give me extra health? Or will it just refill my health? Oh, there's a toad. There we go, we saved ya. <laughs> oh, thank you. Are we outside the Water Elemental Shrine? People say that this shrine is home to a massive, terrifying water spirit, but people say a lot of things. I guess they do. It sure is an impressive building, isn't it? You think the Water of Elemental is the original shrine owner, or has it had some renovations done? I am not sure. We made it to the Water of Elemental Shrine, hooray! Now we can finally meet the Water of Elemental. This definitely looks like the shrine's front door, but how do we open it? Well, it looks like we might need two people, because we can stand on that, but, huh. Oh, I think I've got it, Mario. I bet you press both switches at the same time. That has to be it, right? Wow, I'm cute and clever, <laughs> indeed. But is she, she can't even touch it, she's too busy floating. Wait, no, I'm floating, so I can't press down on the switch. Bobby, you have feet, come put those things good, to good use. That's what I would tell him if he were here. Didn't he run ahead of us? So he should be here already, shouldn't he? 
You don't think he's still lost in the tall grass, do you? Oh, Bobby. Well, we're not getting into this shrine without his adorable little feet, so let's go find him. Well, that's not good, and I guess I'm battling you. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Let's take you on. Lots of little cheap cheap around here, so what do I wanna do? Oh, I know what I wanna do. Do I get two movements? I do indeed, so we want to do that. And this, much better. And we should just be able to jump on these guys, no problem. And there we go, that's enough to take them all out. Now let's use the hammer on the other side, because I still have not equipped the new set of shiny boots, so I definitely need to do that. But for right now, whoop, excellent. See, that wasn't too bad. And that's gonna get us 297 coins in total. So we've been able to climb up a good chunk in today's episode, almost at 12,000. We start out like, what, 9,000 in today's episode? So let's go over to weapons. Shiny boots right there. We will have to buy more soon, or at least hope that we find new replacements. But in the meantime, I wanna go over this way. We'll, we'll save real quick. I wanna see what's going on over this direction. Not really sure. Cause I know that there's still, like he's either in the tall grass, but there was a different direction we could go as well over here. Oh, there's a sticker blocking it. So I can't do that either. Hmm. Isn't that peculiar? Maybe we can jump on this bridge now? Nope. So where's bob on at? A little bob on buddy has gotta be somewhere. Bobby must be lost in that tall grass. We're coming, Bobby, stay put. All right, Bobby, where could you be? Hmm. There's a coin. <laughs> I guess I missed that earlier. Oh, could that be him? Nope, that's a shy guy. That's definitely a shy guy. And we were already over here and did all this, so... Oh, wow, a lot of the coins have come back. Weird. Huh. I'm not seeing them anywhere. Oh, here we go! They're back over here in the Friendship Plaza. So you're waiting for your best buds, huh? Same here. Having buddies is pretty cool so far. I definitely recommend it. Bobby, what are you doing? Don't tell me you got lost in all that tall grass. Big M, ma'am, I knew you'd find me sooner or later. Reuniting with your buds is pretty cool too. I definitely recommend it. Aw, you met up with your amigos. That's the best. Let's have ourselves a super duper canned food part, hey, to celebrate shy oh my. <laughs> I like these guys are back from Color Splash. A canned food part, hey? That does sound like fun. Wait, no, 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 no. We have to go see the water elemental. Come on, Bobby, say goodbye to your uh, new friend. You got it, ma'am. Let's mosey. All right. A super duper canned food, far, food partay. Can't wait for my amigos to show up. Shy oh my. All right, well, I guess we can go into the, the water elemental temple now, huh? Interesting. So let's move over this way then. And I guess we're just going all the way back up over to the temple. Oh. Oh no! Oh, another new buddy! He doesn't look like those foldy guys, so that means he's friendly, right? No, watch it, bob -omb. Hey, there's Stompy and bob -omb. what's your name? Uh-oh, huh, he isn't anything, oh no! bob -omb. Bobby, no! Oh, I should have warned him about the paper, and paper macho enemies. Oh boy, now we gotta take this guy on, and I guess we have to save bob -omb again. <laughs> That's not good. All right, we got him a little bit there. Boom, wait, 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 yelled him charge, and I hit him. All right, give me the best you, you got. I wanna take you out either way. Gotcha. All right, so can we go this way now? I don't think we can. But that seems like the best way to go and save him. I don't know what else we should do. Maybe now we can jump on the bridge a bit. Oh, maybe we could just jump over with him. There we go, okay. Wow, so what's going on now? We're in a new area, it's the Chestnut Valley. Bold move, Mario, jumping off a bridge to save poor Bobby. If we survive that fall, I'm sure he did too. We're bound to bump into the little guy if we just follow the path up and out of here, right? 
I sure hope so, but that is something we'll have to find out in the next episode of Paper Mario, the Origami King. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.